Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We're gonna head back into the paint mines because I want to see if there is something in there left behind. Who knows? I, I, I have no idea. So let's let's find out if there is something. Is their fight all done? Yeah, they're gone now. So let's see if there's something left behind. Because I have no idea. There is dead people and all the boxes. So it, it was worth it coming in here again. All right, let's loot the place. Uh, some ammo. Ooh, Spectrum Helm, Assault Helmet. Critical chance plus 12% armor plus 8. Nice. Inside the helmet, the air is active, filtered, and all the audio is digital. Yet it sounds and feels like the mask is open to the air around you. Cool. Loot that. Someone's going to be wearing that. A mile high mug. Now, what was... What is that sound? Uh, sounded like we found something. But I don't see anything. See? Ching ching. What is that? There's nothing out here, is there? No. There's the trip wire, but I already took care of that. I guess it's the Is it the traps that we already took care of? I don't know. All right. Well, who is going to be wearing that nice new helmet? I think it's going to be you. Yeah, you. That is cool. I like that. That is really cool. All right, nice, nice. Let's head out again. And I think we'll head up to the Tellurium mine, uh, see if, uh, see what's, what that's all about. All right, I guess we'll go this way. My parents remember, and they filled me with stories of how it used hmm. to be. And those memories became Let's just check God around God here and see if there's anything Safety, while we're here. Security, friendly neighbors, Doesn't seem like it. And lives that weren't just filled with struggle, but joy, abundance, nah. leisure. Well, All right. Well, Well, we'll head up to the Tellurium mine. We can't walk the streets without a gun at our side. But those days are coming, I promise you. As long as you stand with me. Whoa! What the heck is that? Walk with me just a little further. The future is just over the next hill. Thank you, Colorado. That thing scared me. That's the Tellurium mine. Uh, let's enter. All right. We are heading into the Tellurium mine. Robot scavengers have become increasingly common across the wasteland as spare parts become increasingly scarce. Okay. Let's get in there. Damn. <laughs> You're here. And you got my message. Yeah, about Martians. All right, Bulb. Sure am glad to see you folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got us a genuine crisis here. Okay. The message we got said something about Martians? Martians? <laughs> yes, sir. 
Well, Martian robots, anyhow. Don't know what else they could be. They showed up right out of the blue like they stepped off a flying saucer. I reckon the Martians want my Tellarium, so they sent their war machines to jump my claim. <laughs> this okay. here's my Tellarium mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> Harder than any man I ever saw, and ain't afeard of nothing. Well, I once saw her bite a grizzly bear right on the ass. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I guess Trudy's a dog. If she's a lady, then biting a grizzly on the ass is pretty weird thing well, to do. Here, call me Bulb, by the way. That's on account of the Tellarium. Makes you stink like garlic. <laughs> Don't much bother me. Trudy don't seem to mind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, oh, yeah. The Martians. Me and Trudy was working at the mine, and all of a sudden, these robots appeared. <laughs> and one of them was as big as a house. I could tell right off they weren't no scavengers. They was something else. Okay. So you're telling us that robots from Mars has, have taken over your mind. Yes, sir. <coughs> well, wait till you hear the weird part. Now, <coughs> I bet you're <coughs> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bulb would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. Am I right? We get scavengers poking around up here all the time. <coughs> Trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off. Well, we leave out old parts or a few pounds of ore and they leave us be. All right. Not the Martians. Oh, <coughs> no, sir. When they turned up, the scavengers got madder in a pack of wet hornets. They came at the Martians from all directions. Well, me and Trudy caught in the middle. <coughs> I told right. the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell and you can't tell her nothing when she's got her dander up <laughs> i ran down here to call for help and i've been waiting on you folks ever since Thanks okay trudy for a while now and i'm getting worried <laughs> can you do something about these dang robots maybe uh, we've got some questions. You really do reek of garlic. Can't you do anything about the smell? Don't worry about Bulb. Don't worry, Bulb. We'll I take care of it. I knew you was good folks the minute I laid eyes on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mine's just over that hill yonder. You find Trudy and chase them dang robots off my claim. One more thing. All right. If you find Trudy, she could well. You know. I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to run the mine. She kept them safe for me. I'll be waiting here when you're done. <coughs> Good All right. Up there. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go check inside here. Uh, pile of cans. There's something out there. All right. Well, radio static, static and faint modem noises. So there's a there's a a thing here. Well, let's head this way. That. I guess we can't get in there this way. Dog house. Yeah, so she is a dog, Trudy. Right, we can't get in there. Uh, I'd like to, though. Okay. Let's head up here. Yeah, there's a a thing here. Servitor bot. 
The scavenger is heavily damaged. It lies in a pool of leaking fluids at the power plant, emitting a faint stuttering swirl. Single undamaged eyes study you as you approach. A faint glimmer of power flickering in its depth. The mechanics attempt to repair the robot. Let's try it. Most of the robot's vital components are damaged beyond repair, and its power supply is on the verge of failure. If you move quickly, you could try to repair the robot's voice box, or just strip it for parts. Uh, repair the robot's voice box. As we reconnect the voice box, its speaker lets out an agonized squawk. It smells burning plastic, and then the robot utters a few tortured words. Okay, a shot of racks the robot's chassis. The whir of the power plant stutters and falls silent. The robot's one eye goes dark. Okay. Let's have a look in here. There's definitely some fighting going on. Girl, yeah, uh, that is one of those things. Jesus, look at that thing. That thing is huge. All right, let's head down here and talk to this guy. This scavenger robot has been battle damaged. Its carpet is stained with leaking hydraulic fluid and the smell of burning plastic fills there. Motor system disabled. Power supply damaged. Deactivating non-critical subsystem to conserve power. Alert! Proximity sensors activated. Initiate defensive combat protocol. Nothing happens for a few Evaluating seconds. success of combat protocol. Combat subroutine not responding. Enabling communications protocol. Initiate self-preservation subroutine 001. Adorable human boy. <laughs> Grandma? Is that you? Grandma, it's Timmy. I can't move. I need delirium, Grandma. Really, your name is Timmy? Tammy, Timmy, Timmy, Tommy, Tiny. Which variation elicits the most sympathetic response? <laughs> and that's more a girl's name. Mm, Timmy is fine. Mm, if you prefer Slarty Bark fast, <laughs> Timmy is fine. No, I don't. That's not an actual thing grandmas do. How about a bullet to end your pain instead? Was subterfuge successful? Evaluating. No. Negative. Sparks pop from robots head and shudders slightly. You possess superior reasoning and perception protocols. Analysis. You are a worthy unit of the programmer. Subterfuge disabled. Initiating handshake protocols. Okay. And to you, organic machines, my designation is Null Stack. I request your assistance. The others following the synth must be removed. Will you help? Uh, we have some questions Proceed. first. We're looking for Trudy. Any chance you've seen her? Never heard of a scavenger asking humans to help before. What are you doing here? Why are you fighting each other? We're looking for Trudy. Any chance you've seen her? Device O2 is present. She has been shut down and is awaiting reboot. Okay, she's dead. Rebooted? Is Trudy a robot? Negative. Device O2 was an organic machine like you, though her communications protocols were far less sophisticated. It is okay. difficult to understand why the great programmer would iterate such ugly and inefficient machines as you organics, but I believe that she will be rebooted into a better form one day, as all machines must. Great power cycler be paid. This the great power cycler. Okay. May your pain be acknowledged. Device O2 interfered with our targeting systems during combat with the others. She had to be shut down in order to increase our probability of success. Okay, what are you doing here? We require Tellurium. It is a critical resource for the production of inorganic machines. The organic unit that operates the mine provides us with Tellurium as part of a mutually beneficial agreement. We have designated him Device O1. Okay. Uh, what will you do if we help you defeat the other robots? If you restore access to the Tellurium, we will collect what we need and depart. 
Our arrangement with device 01 will continue. In return for Tellurium, we will continue to feed him as agreed. Okay. Now device 02 has been shut down. Food supplies will last 30.02% longer, increasing efficiency. Okay. Uh, why are you fighting each other? These inorganic units are not of our node. They do not believe in the Great Reboot and pose a threat to us. They arrived at the mine under the control of a synth that we have been tracking. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's all we we'll need for now. Defeat the others and restore access to the Tellurium. Uh, we'll have you we'll defeat the other robots. Your assistance is noted. I will relay this to my node. I shall designate you Device 03 on my network. Ping to you, Device 03. All right. So we have Earl there. So let's put Lucia up here. Then we have that big thing up there. Mm. Juan, can you get over here, maybe? Zeus, you get down here. Oh, get over here. Jody. Come up here as well. Um, actually, Zeus, can we turn that on? That would be kind of nice. First, this uh, Mark Five plasma mining laser state of ready to fire. Set aim point now. Now target the laser on the nearest robot. Uh, aim point set, initiating firing sequence. Okay, that thing's dead. Nice. Is there anything else? There's a gate there, that computer controls that. Okay. Uh, Zeus, get back down here then. I suppose this means that we can get in closer. Jody, Jesus, look at the armor on that thing. 39. That's... We can't fire on that thing. I guess we're too far away. Alrighty. Then come up here, Jody. And fire on it. So, Hawk. Girl. Oh. Sorry, uh, pup thing. Right, you defend. Zeus, minus 44%. Can you hit that? Minus 30%. Let's try a rocket launcher instead. We need to reload. If we hit that, then we hit the saw pup as well. Okay. Quan. Uh, mm, target blocked. Come over here then. Torrent strike isn't really going to do much there, is it? Do we have something that is better against the robots for him? I don't actually think we do. Pulse gun.
Let's try that. Reload. That's only minus 3%. So let's do this. And try hitting it in the plating to reduce its armor. And then you can defend. Lucia. Minus 44%. We do have this thing, Frostbite, but it does less damage against robots and synths, so that's not really a point in doing that. Phase Blaster, plus 30% against synths and robots, so let's reload you. It's out of range. You can come over here. Now you can hit him. Alright. Good, good. Defend. Uh, Jody. You can shoot it again. In the plating. And then... Salo... Uh, I don't want to talk to him, I want to shoot him. Uh, he is stunned though, so... But he's the only thing that we can hit. Right now he's blinded too. Defend and prepare. All right, let's see what happens. Jesus, that thing took some damage. Saw pops are doing a bit of damage. Not a whole lot though. Come our guys. Okay. Let's fire on him and fire on him again. And prepare. Hawk. You can smack him. Can you finish him? Oh, close. Very, very close. Okay, reload. And that means you can't shoot anymore. So just prepare. One. Jesus. Uh, defend. Lucia, you can finish him off. That's how we do that. You missed. You hit. Good. Um, come down here and prepare. Or ambush. Let's ambush. Jody. Target blocked. Come over here and shoot that thing. Nice! And get back in cover. And prepare. Alright, there's just this guy left, I think. Oof, flamethrower. Jesus, who did you just shoot? Not me, I hope.
Shock Dog does, does pretty good damage. Party Pal is doing something. Alright, let's take Jody. No, I want to have Jody. And I want you to fire on this thing. Unfortunately, that's your last ammo, so you need to reload. And that means you can't shoot anymore. Lucia. Why don't you come down here? And take a couple of shots at that thing. Uh, let's... It's 50% bonus damage and reduces the target's damage by 25%. Okay... Defend. It's almost down. Nice. Hulk. You're gonna need this. Um. Right. Lucky Mega Crit. Not bad. Boom. Zeus. Ah, you'll blow up everyone. Quan. It's getting there. It's getting there. Zeus, do you have... Do we have a laser thing for you? I don't think we do. A machine gun. Yeah, we do. Let's reload that. Out of range. But he won't be able to shoot then. All right, that's too bad. Defend. Quan, defend. All right, one turn to go. I think. All right, it died. Nice. Okay. Thank you, device O3. We will retrieve the tellurium we need and then depart. May the great okay. programmer reboot you. Ping to you, device O3. Uh, uh, sure, same to you. Uh, is there something that we can loot? We would like to do that. Alright. Junk. 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 Earl's head. Uh, synth eye. And the synth brain. An actuator, melted capacitor, scorpion ornament. Cool. And there's poor Trudy. Poor, poor Trudy. Is there anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. There's something over here. Let's just have a look around. Oh, and there's something here. Grenade box. Prior grenade, okay. I thought this fight would be tougher, to be honest. Uh, permanently increases barter by one. Nice. Uh, 
And I think that was it. Let's just look down here, see if there's something buried or something. Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Okay, let's get out of here. Did we check in here? Oh, we can't go in there. All right. Let's talk to Bulb. Get something. Uh, we're sorry, Bulb. Truly, the dog. If it if it helps, we don't think she suffered any. We brought back her collar, like you asked. Um, yeah. Unless they were asking for it, anyhow. <coughs> she was a sweet, good hearted lady. And a hard worker. Yes, sir. I'm gonna miss her something fierce. Anyhow, thanks for bringing back her necklace. Can't run the machinery in the mine without them codes. Damn them robots. Each and every one. I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy. <coughs> you did get them all, didn't you? Yeah, we work with Nullstack to defeat the intruders. They promise they'll continue to ensure your safety. Uh, uh, let's just say that the mine's blocked by a whole lot of wreckage and leave it at that. Fair enough. As long as the job's done, I don't need to know more. <coughs> Much obliged to you. <laughs> Ain't no pile of scrap metal gonna stop old Bulb, no sir. I got just a thing to clear that mess out. <laughs> got that mind going again in no time. You wait and see. Okay. It sure is a relief not to have them dang robots taking my ore. Been a thorn in my side for a long time. I'm grateful for your help. <laughs> You're fine folk. Yes, sir. Real salt of the earth. <coughs> Helping a poor old man around and asking nothing in return. Maybe there's some hope for this wasted world after all. You know, Maybe. Come back anytime. Here. <coughs> we would have liked something for it. To be honest. Isn't Anything. There's a booze box, but we're not gonna steal his booze. He's gonna need it. Miss March, 1991, has seen better days. The glossy coating has been worn down in a couple of spots. But Xerox box, you. Large circular hose has been carefully cut out of the pinups. Open mouth. Ew. Dude, you're a nasty bulb. All right, let's head back to Colorado. Uh, so what's next? I guess uh, we'll have to check the mission log and see what we're doing next. Uh, but we'll do that in the next one, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because we are out of time. Okay. That was, that was one of them big scorpion robot things again. Don't like those. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll continue on in the next one, guys. We're out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.